you for this beautiful day, Lord. If you could send a little breeze, that would be much appreciated, Father God. And we thank you for the rain that we've gotten. And Lord, uh, we ask you to put your hand on all them fires that are all on the West Coast, Lord. Get them put out, Father God. And Lord, we ask you to lift up our government, Lord. Let them make right decisions for us, Lord. We lift up our president. We lift up our beautiful town here. We lift up the Passion Play, Lord. Let people come from all over the world to go to the Passion Play and to just worship their Father God. And Lord, we ask you to lift up all the churches in town, Father God. We ask you to put your hands on this program. We know that we come soon, Lord. And if you could just put it in people's hearts to give their life to you, Father God, and to fall on their face and ask for forgiveness, Lord. We thank you for that, because we know that you want everybody to go to heaven, and I want to see them in heaven, all my loved ones. We just thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Can't stand still. <laughs> so uh my beautiful bride, she's yeah. got some announcements today. Just a few. Just a few. Uh, so last Sunday, I don't know if you guys were that we got to enjoy experience. We had eight salvations yeah. and 21 baptisms. Yes! Yeah. It was awesome. And, hey, and we're going to do it again next week. Next week we're going to baptize again. Yeah. yeah. And um, Chuck had a birthday. Oh. Uh, help 102 families. That was 369 people. Yeah. The Yay! And we are still outside feeding, so we could get about 50 or so people through all that too. So, Also, we want to thank Vic from The Promise. He brought us a bunch of tortilla wraps and a bunch of other good stuff. Yeah. So, yes, we, we got have a lot stuff. left over. And we got so a bunch of milk. And milk left over. <laughs> so come on and Enjoy. Now no. the poker run, Amy, is September 19th, Saturday. <laughs> September 19th, Saturday. It will be here. Um, they are starting registration at 8. I think she said the first bike leaves out at 9 or so. so. Yeah, but we are going to have us a little block party type thing going on anyway, so music and all that, so come and eat and have some fun. No, in the daytime, morning. All day long Saturday. Are we going to get the bingo out? I don't know. Oh, we might have to do that. We might have to do that. That sound like fun. We'll ask the bingo mom over here and yeah. see what she thinks. Do yeah. we need to bring any food or anything? If you want to. If you want the coffee or if you want to put some stuff, you want to. Like a side, yeah. And then um, I, have, I have prayer requests from families that have been. Um, Settle oh, down, everybody. <laughs> We're asking for prayer to wipe this COVID out because we have people that are back in for their second time in the ER. Yeah. Jesse and his wife up in Missouri. Um, reports of it in nursing homes and then some of our children have been tested positive at school or sent home um, or they are you know around people that have been in their classroom so we just want to lift up our children that are back in school that are going through all this stuff and just keep them safe and all of our nurses and everybody that's working during this time that has to be in front line on you know, while this is all going on please keep uh, Linda in your prayer she's got doctor's appointment this week she asked for prayer and then um also our son-in-law is having surgery so please keep him 
looked it up. His first name is Joshua. So um, we said the upcoming. And then I want to remind everybody and those online, we are doing communion today. So prepare your heart, your spirit, your soul, and ask God if there's anything that you need to search your heart or have him search your heart for. Yeah. And um, those online, it's time to grab a wafer and some juice. And yeah. after we read the word today, we will have communion. So we just think it's um, perfect timing with the baptism last week and then communion yeah. this week. So. And um, if you, uh, while we're planning some praise and worship, come on, guys. Um, take this time to get yourself ready to take communion later, later on, you yes. know, uh, whatever you need to do to be ready to do that, and, um, and we can praise God, hallelujah, yeah. hallelujah, love y'all, we need a choir ready, they're oh, coming, wing it, A very vocal, a vocalist on the corner left, right, my corner left here. I've been ready. <laughs> You're singing. Just sing from there, girl. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Just kidding. There you go. Oh, yeah, we're winging.
So we wait, we wait for you. God, we wait. This new, this is a new one right here, and I'm not one to be anointed by God here to speak on His behalf, but and, uh, I want everyone to look at it as God speaking to you, not me as a human speaking to y'all about it here. Why are you striving these days? Why are you trying to earn grace? Why are you crying? Let me lift up your face. Just don't turn away. Why are you looking for love? Why are you still searching as if I'm not enough? Where will you go, child? To where will you run? To where will you run? Cause I'll be by your side wherever you fall. The dead of night whenever you call. And please don't fight the sand of our holding you. You know I have a hold. Follow the grave of that night when I drank the world's in so that I could carry you in and give you life. I wanna give you life, cause I'll be by your side wherever you fall. The dead of night would never be.
you guys know this, please sing it, because I don't know it very well. What's this song? Okay, um, this one is, uh, I've done it before, and uh, because it's communion, I think this one's a good one to do.
I take the bread of life Broken for all my sin Your body crucified To make me whole again I will recall the cup Poured out in sacrifice To trade the sinner's end For your new covenant Hallelujah I'll live my life in remembrance The promise I won't forget I'll walk salvation's road With fear and trembling Your way born as my own As Christ is born to me, and hallelujah, I'll live my life in remembrance, and hallelujah, your promise I won't forget. I should lose my way if ever I deny your grace. Remind me of the price you paid. Hallelujah. I the remembrance. So, so good to me You've been so, so good to me Oh, to think where I would be If not for you If not for you You've been so, so good to me As far as east is from the west, so far your grace has carried me. Until I see you face to face, until at last I've won my race, remind me you're not finished yet. And hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'll live in remembrance. Man, that's great. I was up in the clouds, man. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. One more time. <laughs> One more time. I didn't realize this song was so close to me. Yeah. Wow. Praise God. Praise God. You guys are awesome. Oh, I 
Jen. Uh, uh, Jen. Uh, uh, Jen. 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 Uh, Thank you, Father God, for your word, Lord. We believe everything in this to be written by you and to be true, Father God. Let it be easy for us to read and easy for us to understand. Thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, today we're going to start, uh, we're going to go back and forth a couple, but uh, we're going to do John 6, chapter 6. So if you want to go along with it, you can. If not, just uh, here we go. Thank you, Father God. <clears throat> and this is the thing, I better, before I get going. We need to really know who Jesus is and why he is, was here and why he is here now. And um, this just tells it all. Thank you, Lord. Sometime after Jesus crossed to the far, <clears throat> far shore of the Sea of Galilee, that is the Sea of Tiberias, and a cr great crowd of people followed him because they saw the signs he had performed by healing the sick. Then Jesus went up on the mountainside. Am I in the right place? Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Mountainside and sat down with his disciples. The Jewish Passover festival was near. When Jesus looked up and saw a great crowd coming toward him, he said to Philip, Where shall we buy bread for these people to eat? He asked this only to test him, for he already had in mind what he was going to do. Philip answered him, It would take more than a half a year's wages to buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. Here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish. But how far would they go among so many? Jesus said, have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in that place, and they sat down. About 5,000 men were there. Jesus then took the loaves he gave gave thanks and distributed it to those who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. When they had all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, gather the pieces that are left over, let nothing be wasted. So they gathered them and filled 12 baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves left over and those who had eaten. After the people saw the sign Jesus performed, they began to say, Surely this is the prophet who is to come into the world. Jesus, knowing that they intended to come and make him king by force, withdrew again to a mountain by himself. When evening came, his disciples went down to the lake, where they got into a boat and set off across the lake of Capernaum. By now it was dark, and Jesus had not yet joined them. A strong wind was blowing and the waters grew rough. When they had rowed about three or four miles, they saw Jesus approaching the boat, walking on the water, and they were frightened. He said to them, It is I. Don't be afraid. Then they were willing to take him in into the boat. And immediately the boat reached the shore where they were heading. <clears throat> yeah. The next day, the crowd that had stayed on the opposite shore of the lake realized that only one boat had been there and that Jesus had not entered it. And with the, <coughs> his disciples, <laughs> excuse me, but, they had, but that they had gone away alone. Then some boats from Tiberias landed near the place where the people had eaten the bread after the Lord had given thanks. Once the crowd realized that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, 
they got into the boat and went to Capernaum in search of Jesus. When they found him on the other side of the lake, they asked him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered, very truly, I tell you, whenever Jesus says that, you better listen up. He's about to tell you something serious. Uh -huh. you, are, you are looking for me, not because you saw the signs I performed, but because you ate the loaves and had your fill. Do not work for food that spoils, but for food that endures the, the, to eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him God the Father has placed his seal of approval. Then they asked him, What must we do to 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 do? What must do to do? <laughs> Man, that is sometimes God requires. Jesus answered, The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. So they asked him, What sign then <clears throat> will you give that we may see it? and believe you. What will you do? Our ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness as it is written. He gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, it is not Moses who has given you the bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread of heaven. For the bread of God is the bread that comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Woohoo! Man. Yeah. Sir, they said, always give us this bread. Then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still you don't believe. All those the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven, not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all those he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. At this the Jews, were, the Jews there began to grumble about him because he said, I am the bread that came down from heaven. They said, Is this not Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we know? How can he now say, I came down from heaven? Stop grumbling amongst yourselves, Jesus answered. No one can come to me unless the Father who sent me draws them, and I will raise them up at the last day. It is written in the prophets, they will all be taught by God. Everyone who has heard the Father and learned from him comes to me. No one has seen the Father except the one who is from God. Only he has seen the Father. Here we go again. Very truly, I tell you, the one who believes has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your ancestors ate the manna in the wilderness, yet they died. But here is the bread that comes down from heaven, which anyone may eat and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. This bread is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Amen. Then the Jews began to argue sharply among themselves. How can this man give us <clears throat> his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise them up at the last day. For my flesh is real food, and my blood is real drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so the one who feeds on me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, 
Your ancestors ate manna and died, but whoever feeds on this bread will live forever. Woohoo! He said this while teaching in the synagogue at Capernaum. On hearing it, many of his disciples said, This is a hard teaching. Who can accept it? Aware that his disciples were grumbling about this, Jesus said to them, Does this offend you? Then what is what if you see the Son of Man ascend to where he was before? <laughs> the Spirit gives life. The flesh counts for nothing. The words I have spoken to you, they are full of the Spirit and life. Yet there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus had known from the beginning which of them did not believe and who would betray him. He went on to say, this is why I told you that no one can come to me unless the Father has uh, enabled them. From this time, many of his disciples turned back and no longer followed him. You do not want to leave too, do you? Jesus asked the twelve. Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and to know that you are the Holy One of God. Amen. Then Jesus replied, Have I not chosen you, the twelve? The one of you is a devil. He meant Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, who, though one of the twelve, was later to betray him. Okay, now we're going to go to um, Matthew 26. I'm going to let my beautiful bride read a little bit. All right, starting with the first one, Matthew 26. When Jesus had finished saying all these things, he said to his disciples, As you know, the Passover is two days away, and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. Then the chief priests and the elders of the people assembled in the palace of the high priest, whose name was Caiaphas. I can't even say it now. Caiaphas. Caiaphas. And they schemed to arrest Jesus secretly and kill him. But not during the festival, they said, or there will be a riot among the people. While Jesus was in Bethany in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume, which she poured on his head as he was reclining at the table. When the disciples saw this, they were indig indignant. Why, yeah. <laughs> Why this waste, they asked. The, this perfume could have been sold at a high price and the money given to the poor. Aware of this, Jesus said to them, why are you bothering this woman? She has done a beautiful thing to me. The poor you will always have with you, but you will not always have me. When she poured the perfume on my body, she did it to prepare for my burial. Truly I tell you, whether the gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. Then one of the twelve, the one called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priest and asked, What are you willing to give me if I deliver him over to you? So they counted on out for him thirty pieces of silver. From then, the, on, Jude, uh -huh, from then on Judas watched for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, go into the city to the certain man and tell him. The teacher says, my appointed time is near. I am going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them and prepared the Passover. When evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. They were very sad and began to say to him one after another, Surely you don't mean me, Lord. Jesus replied, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man will go just as it is written about him. But woe to the man who betrays the Son of Man. 
it would be better for him to had not been born. Then Judas, the one who would betray him, said, Surely you don't mean me, Rabbi. Jesus answered, You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink it, drink from this, all of you, this is my body. Blood. Blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it new with you in the Father's kingdom. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus told them, This very night you will all fall away on account of me, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I have risen, yeah, I will go ahead of you into Galilee. Peter replied, Even if all fall away on account of you, I never will. Truly I tell you, Jesus answered, this very night before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. But Peter declared, even if I have to die with you, I will never disown you. And all the other disciples said the same. Then Jesus went with his disciples to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, sit here while I go over there and pray. He took Peter and the two sons of Zebedee along with him, and he began to be sorrowful and troubled. Then he said to them, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Going a little farther, he fell with his face to the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, may this cup be taken from me. Let not, yet not as I will, but as you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Couldn't you men keep watch with me for one hour? He asked Peter. Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. He went away a second time and prayed, My father, if it is not possible for this cup to be <clears throat> taken away unless I drink it, may your will be done. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. So he left them and went away once more and prayed the third time saying the same thing. Then he returned to the disciples and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? Look, the hour has come, and the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go. Here comes my betrayer. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived with him with a large crowd armed with swords and clubs, sent from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had arranged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man, arrest him. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, getting rabbi, greetings rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus replied, do what you can for, friend. Then the men stepped forward, seized Jesus, and arrested him. With that, one of Jesus' companions reached for his sword, drew it out, and struck the servant of the high priest, cutting off his ear. Put your sword back in its place, Jesus said to him, for all who draw the sword will die by the sword. Do you think I cannot call on my father, and he will at once put at my disposal more than twelve legions of angels? But how then would the scriptures be fulfilled that say it must happen in this way in the hour in that hour Jesus said to the crowd am I leading a rebellion that you have come out with swords and clubs to capture me every day I sat in the temple courts teaching and you did not arrest me 
But this is all taken place that the writings of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and fled. Those who had arrested <coughs> Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, where the teachers of the law and the elders had assembled. But Peter followed him at a distance, right up to the courtyard of the high priest. He entered and sat down with the guards to see the outcome. The chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin were looking for false evidence against Jesus so that they could put him to death. But they did not find any, though many false witnesses came forward. Finally, two came forward and declared, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and rebuild it in three days. Then the high priest stood up and said to Jesus, Are you not going to answer? What is this testimony that these men are bringing against you? But Jesus remained silent. The high priest said to him, I charge you under oath by the living God. Tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. You have said so, Jesus replied. But I say to all of you, from now on you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on a cloud of heaven. Woo! Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, He has spoken blasphemy. Why do we need any more witnesses? Look, now you have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? He is worthy of death, they answered. Then they spit in his face and struck him with their fist. Others slapped him and said, Prophesy to us, Messiah, who hit you? Now Peter was sitting out in the courtyard, and a servant girl came to him. You also were with Jesus of Galilee, she said. But he denied it before them all. I don't know what you're talking about, he said. Then he went out to the gateway where another servant girl saw him and said to the people there, this fellow was with Jesus of Nazareth. He denied it again with a note. I don't know the man. Oh, that feels good, that breeze. Woo, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> After a little while, those standing there went up to Peter and said, surely you are one of them. Your accents give you away. Then he began to call down curses, and he swore to them, I don't know the man. Immediately a rooster crowed. Then Peter remembered the word Jesus had spoken before the rooster crows, you will disown me three times. And he went outside and wept bitterly. We're going to stop right there. All right. And, um, you know, before we do this, I, I would like to um, give everybody a chance to um, renew their vows or just saying again like I do all the time. If you could just repeat this after me. Dear Lord, Dear Lord I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. Forgive, me for my sins. Forgive me for my sins. Thank you for dying for me, you for dying for me. On, the cross. on the cross. And I've risen. risen. Lord, take my life, take my life. and use me to glorify you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right, we're going to, if everybody's got their, um, their stuff, I'm going to read this. And uh, if you already did it, you did it. If not, it's all right. Um, I'm going to back up to Matthew in 26. While they were eating, Jesus took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he, when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant which I poured out for many for their forgiveness of sins. 
Amen. Amen. So, um, next week, we're going to get baptized in the water. If anybody wants to go, we like that river down there, man. That flowing water. And, um, Cleansing the sins away. Yes. Them out. And we're, uh, we're still doing construction on the inside, so we're going to still do this and still be feeding out here Monday through Friday. But uh, be, uh, be keeping us in prayer, you know, that to keep us safe and we do everything right the first time so we don't have to redo it. Because, <laughs> uh, boy. We like to uh, redo things up, mix it up all the time around here, and um, especially my bride. Yeah, it's like, oh well, let's take that room and put it there and that one there. Okay, it happens. It does. But um, spring cleaning. Amen. I do. Uh, I, I'm so grateful to be able to take the Lord's supper, and I know I'm sure you are too, and. Um, it's very meaningful. I mean, our Lord died for us on the cross. He was horribly beaten and killed and for us. And like he said, he could have called down 12 legions of angels, you know. And But then again, then when we wouldn't be forgiven for our sins, we'd still be slaughtering animals. We'd be... Um, and then where would faith be? Because all them people would see all those angels and all that, and then that story would go on. The way that it had to happen was the way that it happened. It was foretold. And believing in Christ is in your heart. It is all faith. And I'll tell you what, my book, my Bible, man, I, I jones for it like a drug to read it. I mean it. I just, uh, I get so excited reading it. And for me, you know, I've only read the whole thing maybe three times. And yeah, it's something new all the time. Every time that I read it, it's like, wow, I didn't catch that before. And uh, I need to speak the same thing to you. And when you read it, um, I read out of the NIV, you know, because it's easier for me to read because I'm not a real good reader. And uh, so, I just asked the Lord to show me what it means. And, you know, don't let my imagination mess it all up, you know. If, and if it's not time for you to know, <laughs> you're just going to have to come back to it later. But pray for the Lord to, <laughs> to open your eyes and show you what it means. And um, I guess that's all. And I really like to... Make sure you guys come Saturday, and um, yes. we're going to have a good time. It's going to be in the morning. and uh, you can come during the day anytime. Yeah. It's probably going to be going. And until we're Saturday. not going to play because uh, Annie's got to work, and that, that's, you know, that's the way it is. But there is going to be music and a drama skit yeah. and all that. Oh. So. For his glory. Oh, man, you see me wearing the shirt with the hole in it all the time? They're supposed to be here, man, so very they, much a blessing. Oh, uh, they will freak you out. I have sit there and just bawled just watching them. And, you know, they did this one skit that was a bullying. And I never got bullied except for by the people who love me. I did. But um, <laughs> it just <laughs> tore me up, man. I mean, it was, they, they have some very powerful, and they're, uh, got one little bitty one they got some very serious um, things that they talk about <coughs> suicide and stuff that drugs and it, it's very serious business but man it will uh, it will move you and man they turn it up loud boy it's it's awesome <laughs> so uh, please come um, I guess it starts at 10 right Eight is eight for the bike. For the bike. So if you want to ride your bike, eight o'clock, yeah. and then uh, go on the bike ride, and then uh, I think the party is starting. Ten o'clock. Ten thirty. Yeah, we don't know. Just come for lunch. It's just gonna be here. Yeah, it's a wing thing. 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 Yeah, it's a w
Yes. My youngest daughter, we've been, been praying for her for months and months and months and a year and a half. Usually, whenever she wants to start working out in her life and things are going bad, she always calls me and tells me to quit praying for her. <laughs> but this time she called me and said, uh, "You know, keep praying for her." Amen. Yes. Praise God. That's man. right. That's huge. Huge. So I just want to thank God for that. Oh, and yeah. another thing too, the inmates at the jail, you know, Billy and I haven't been able to go in for a while. Yeah. Have not been able to go in for a while, but they got in touch with my the jail. Uh, one charge of the jail got in touch with my pastor, so to let me know that they're going to be. 17 Bibles because they're 17 girls and they want they ask for Bibles and what yeah. And so sometimes when you feel like what you're doing, you we'll see what working. we got. Yeah. They gotta be soft, right? Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, sometimes when you feel or sometimes when you think what you're what you're doing is not working, it actually is. Yeah. Yeah. And also I need a partner for the jail. If anybody's interested, please get with me and we'll try to get you in there because I mean I can have more than one partner. Um, what day is it? It's, um, Sunday? Sundays. After yeah. Sunday. Oh, I have to go back in. So yeah. Get yeah. with me at the church. Yeah. And, um, I got two, two folks incarcerated right now that they need to come out. Yeah. Please yeah. keep them Amen. with them. Amen. We're going to pray that out, Lord. Come on, Lord. And, um, you know, let's, let's lift up our loved ones. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I got <laughs> Let's, let's go ahead and uh, pull the prayer and let's lift up our loved ones that are not saved and are incarcerated or just doing stupid stuff. Me and my 10 year old, they got baptized last night. Amen. 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 Oh, it's so awesome. Tiffany Cousins is younger now. She's yeah. a mom. And Tiffany has to apologize for that. Or... <laughs> and we, uh, and I want to lift up that, that somebody will send, that the Lord will send somebody to them to tell them about Christ and to show them how real he is without them um because us they don't listen to us their loved ones very often they think we're stupid and you know they're gonna live forever yeah so uh we just gotta pray father god we love you lord we lift up our loved ones to you father and we lift up the ones that have been saved father god and baptized and gave their life to you let them have the right words and the right actions to show people that to help lead them to Christ. And Father God, if you could just send an angel, somebody to tell our loved ones about you, Lord, and let them know that in these times, times are getting short, and we know that your return is coming. We might have to do some suffering before you come, Lord, and we want our loved ones to see that, and we don't want them to be left behind, and we want to see them all in heaven, because if you know in your heart for sure you are going to heaven, you just keep reading, let us read our word, Lord, and just make it make sense to us, Father God. And Lord, let us not dwell on the bad things in life that are happening, Lord, and give us hope, Father God. And we ask you to just fix all the broken hearts and the broken families, Lord. Bring them back together, Lord, and just soften our hearts, Lord. Let us not be bitter Christians, Father God, and judging, Lord. Let us be loving, Christ-like, and show them that you love them and tell them, Lord. And we just thank you for this. And we lift up everybody here today. Let them go home and call somebody that needs to know about the Lord. Because, Lord, we know it's getting short, Lord. And we are getting few. Father God, we love you. Give, make us strong, Lord, that we can stand up and not deny you like Peter did, Lord. Give us the strength, Lord, and we just love you so much, and we thank you. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 Give somebody a hug if you want. Amen.